All right. So your underlying energy is the two of pentacles. Underneath that, you have the seven, excuse me, the nine of swords. Wah, wah. That's like rough as fuck right there, though. But the good thing is, family, is that with that, I'm sorry, with this, this cord, I can't really, you know, either bad quality or, or, or gaming headset. All right. But anyway, uh, with the two of pentacles here, I do get this feeling that you guys are having to kind of make the, just big, make big decisions, big, big, big decisions based off of how you feel, but it's hard to do that because I have a feeling that you guys may feel like you, you know, you're not in a good place to make a decision like that. It's something, you know, it's throwing me off a little bit because you feel trapped and apathetic right now. Like you, well, not trapped, but you feel stuck. Emotionally, you just feel stuck. And you're just like, you're feeling emotionally drained. Like, it's just like, you can't, you know, you feel emotionally drained from a situation. Not necessarily drained, but like kind of congested, like you stopped, you stopped up emotionally. And with the two pentacles here, yeah, it's going to, you know, these decisions are you know, keeping the balance right now. Well, these are big, you know, these are practical decisions that you're having to make or that you need to make right now based off of how you, you know, based off of what you feel about the options. That's the only way that something of great value is really going to come out of it. It's the only way you're going to see which option is the most valuable by knowing how you feel about those options. And I feel like, I feel like with how you're feeling right now with that four of cups, it's going to be a little hard. Now, you're not drained. No, not like the eight of cups. I said drained in the beginning, but I remembered that's the eight of cups, not the four of cups. You get to the drained bar after the, you know, when you get to eight. But when you get more stopped up and kind of like congested and you kind of just feel like, you kind of feel like blocked. Like it's very writer's blockish that, you know, the four of cups. Okay. You feel really like, you know, writer's block here. But I get this feeling though, is that even though it's like, even though you feel kind of stopped up, it's basically because of the, sh the focus that you have on a certain particular aspect in your life right now. Again, remember, this is not about blame because I don't care about that. Sh you know, well, you can do whatever you want to do. You can do, you know, you can think whatever you want to think. You can have your own mindset. You can do whatever you want to do. But in order to improve yourself, you have to recognize what is and what isn't working. Okay. So with the four of pentacles, well, the, the heart of the reading basically is saying, you know, the challenge is to get to a stable place or to move higher in a relationship or to even go into a relationship altogether. Mm-hmm. It's about moving forward. It's about making, not just moving so forward, but just kind of like moving to a higher place of commitment, getting to this place of, you know, of, of sta stability. That's like, that can honestly continue on the branch of growth, right? Cre creating a nice little workshop so you can continue to move forward. That's the best way I can put it as far as like an, an example, but think about it like a relationship. You want to kind of get to a place where you can be established so you can build on that, right? It's a good place. It's a good place to start, right? It's a really good place to kind of keep b building on something that's really good, but you are feeling kind of like, you're not really sure. I, I, I feel like with the four of cups, it's like, Everything kind of has this net, like this kind of like tainted view on it, because it's like you don't know if you're gonna just you're gonna get the same old BS. Um, and I feel like either you guys are try are waiting for something as well, waiting for some sort of response. But I don't. I I, mean, I really feel like it's like you know, there's just like this really tainted kind of view on everything because everything has kind of, you know, because you've been focusing on what you know, right? And I feel like right now, the only reason for you, the only way for you to kind of break free from this four of cups energy is shifting your focus. And how you shift your focus? By leaving behind the things you already know. How do you, so how do you do that? Well, some things, so, as you guys know by now, right? There's no such thing as a universal truth. Nothing as a, nothing is black, is black and white. And by living in a black and white world, you get to this point because then you figure out that you find out that, you know, you feel stuck because you're like, well, this happened, so I can't do that. So yeah, this happened, so I don't want to do that. Or this happened, so I'm not really interested in dealing with that. So everything kind of blends into itself. 
But if you eliminate the limitations, you understand and you see the layers of gray, then you could kind of figure out what it is that you, you can, you can be open to new opportunities and new possibilities. So it's really this limitation that you may have on yourself based off of how you, what you believe and how you feel about certain things based off of what you've already experienced. Right? kind of you want to open that door a little bit now in the past you have the magi the magician so the ma magician i like this card it does indicate that you have everything that you need it talks about you having the skills necessary you're not going into a situation completely naked right so i hate when this card moves but anyway um it's like you knowing knowing what you want knowing well not necessarily knowing what you want but like being aware of your skill set because that's the biggest thing because you may, you know, because you, you know, you may have the great tools necessary to have a good conversation to build, you know, healthy communication skills with your, within your relationships. You may, you know, be able to ground yourself and be able to provide a sense of security for you and your partner. You know, there's a lot of things that you already have within you that, you know, that's preset that's there with you or something that you've gained over time that can be utilized for this relationship and that in itself builds confidence within yourself because you know that you can handle it you can handle whatever comes your way you know hit me with your best shot pretty much so now that you you know and that also is a manifestation as well this is a manifestation card because I think you have definitely, you know your skill set, you know how to kind of put yourself out there if this is dating, you know exactly what you were wanting to do, you know what you're looking for, you utilize your skills to put yourself out there to have a relationship, and now boom, you got the Ace of Wands. Something nice, something exciting, something very passionate, something that you, you even may be connecting with an ex here. You know, we can, we can leave an ex, which is probably why you don't really know what the fuck to do with it now, because you don't really know if you really want to move forward. Now, this Ace of Wands, maybe it may start out the same way as all the other ones, so you're not sure how, you know, you may be thinking of, okay, well, every time that it has happened this way, it's never, da 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 it never, and no. I feel like this reason, it's big for you to shift your focus right now, because this is a brand new beginning. You can make anything happen with this beginning. You can make it lead to any anywhere. And the devil is coming up. So definitely there's sex involved. But it's like almost like every time there's a relationship that starts out the way that it starts out, it always ends up becoming a toxic relationship or tainting it being tainted in some way. Or the fact is is that there's some sort of behavior or pattern that definitely is not helping you build any relationships at all. So every time there's a new start to something. It's like, it's immediately taken to this place of having to try to kind of break free from, you know, from the, from the taboos, you know, from the, the things that are naughty, you know, the bad stuff. And I feel like the devil here is, it's like, it's saying that you're not bound to anything really. Nothing's actually keeping you in a certain place. Nothing's actually making all of this messed up. You're not even doing that purposely. But the thing is, is that when you go into it with a mindset of a certain, when you go into something with a certain mindset, yeah, you're not, you're only going to be getting out what you're trying to look for, right? So it kind of messes up the dynamic a little bit. It's, it's important to kind of go into a situation open-minded about it and to break free from the pit you know the stuff that you're you know that you believe is disempowering so you can have a relationship that's awesome so you can have something that's nice but the devil here talks about you know like i always say right getting your power back finding your power in in a situation that makes you feel like you're not in power right the devil can mean a lot of things obsession the you know uh, addictions taboo you know the things that people may not accept you know and it's like you're you're starting something with somebody that may have may have been very you know intimate or explicit it doesn't mean it can't progress because look at this page of one page of pentacles here i think somebody comes in and offers you something and the four, the fact that the four of cups is here is that you're focusing so much on how this thing started that you don't even see that this person is trying to actually move forward and I think there is something that can grow from something that moves forward. It's just like, I know that you have your own standards, your own ways of doing something. It has Something has to be exactly something. But that's, if you control it to that to point, you end up losing, you're losing, and you're lo losing great potential in something. And I feel like as well too, guys, 
If something kind of starts off promiscuous, you don't have to continue to get it, go that way unless you do want that, right? And for some of you guys, it may be this, right? Somebody may be flirting like hardcore and you may be feeling them, right? Or maybe somebody's definitely enticing and that, you know, you're like, shit, man, I don't know. I think I, I might pursue this in the, you know, the other direction, you know, the right direction that you know you, you can't, you can't feel comfortable really moving in a, you know, in a relationship with. Don't do that. Right? If you truly want to build a relationship, you have to shift your focus towards the behaviors that you've been, that's, that leads you to this place, right? All right. Ultimately, where you are right now is because you put yourself there. And it's not, again, I always say this is not to blame or anything. It's to recognize your power. Because a lot of times we can blame everybody else. We can blame the whole world around us. We can blame everything around us. But it's like, but we keep doing the same thing over and over again. We have to change that up. We got to change that behavior. So it's, remember, it's not about blame. It's about, okay, what are we doing so we can change it? So, cause we, I don't like this. I don't like this behavior. So like, for instance, like I always like when I do videos or whatever, right. Or when I do readings, I always do it starving. I do always kind of, I'm always hungry when I'm doing it. And it's because it's just a perpetual habit. I'm not going to eat until I'm done. I'm not going to eat until I'm done. And I always end up like stuttering or, you know, um, feeling kind of like a little out of it a little bit and feeling a little really tired and sleepy. And I'm like, I don't like this behavior. And it's not because of the, everything around me. It's because I don't feed myself. You know, it's very, it's, it's something like that. So I don't, I'm not mad at myself because I didn't, because I can't do X, Y, and Z. I'm not going to be upset with myself to be do that. I'm not going to blame myself. Oh my God, you should have eaten it or it was, you know, you would have done better at, and with your videos or doing readings for clients. It's more of like, all right, I got to go ahead and trim this up. I got to go ahead and eat stuff. I got to make time for myself to, to, to nourish myself. You know what I mean? So you, you don't have to say, okay, so I'm the problem. No, it's more of what behaviors do you need to shift and change so you can move forward, so you can have the four of wands. Because you can have that. This is a magician. You can have that. You have everything you need to make that happen. But if the devil thing is coming up, if there's sex involved, if there's a, if there's a certain standard that you're not, that you can't seem to, if you can't break from, you have to shift something. You have to change something. Maybe the criteria that you look for, maybe the relationship dynamics that you start out with. If it's exciting and it's passionate and all that, and you get a nice little vibe about it, the ego is like rushing, the dopamines are high, all that goodness. The science is on, is, is, is involved, but, but family, you don't gotta, you don't, you don't gotta, you know, fall for the trap. You don't got to slip into the, you know, to the, to the lion's den or to the devil's den, for instance. You don't have to play his little game. You don't have to be enticed by what he's offering. You could just be like, hell no, I know what I want. And I'm kind of, I need to do X, Y, and Z before I can even think about a relationship with somebody. So that being said, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I do see like this person, if this is another person here offering you this valuable piece of, 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 of long-term commitment. And you're just like, well, how, well, I mean, when we started out, you know, it was fun, but I don't know if I can trust. I don't know if I can move forward from that. And then sometimes and it's not about how you start. It's about how you continue forward. Cause it's like, why does it matter so much how you guys started out? It could be a beautiful relationship. A lot of relationships start out with people that just are friends or to people that are just hooking up and they can, they can work really wonderful together. I know several people that started out just hanging, just hooking up and they could be and they're in their great relationships. But if you need it to be a certain way, then you have to shift something. You have to change something. Now your goal aim ambition is the Empress card and with the four of wands. Yeah. I feel like this has a lot to do with, you know, with being in a relationship. Okay. Like being in a relationship in that regard or, you know, and not necessarily like, you know, like, like stabilizing or, you know, anything like that or getting married, but definitely, you know, you're building something of great value, you know, building something of great value, creating something of great value. You have two manifestation cards so far, magician and the empress. The empress is the creator because she takes time. She takes the time. She knows what's necessary to goes into creating what she wants. So she's willing to take that time to build it, to nurture it, to take care of it, to, to watch it, to watch it grow. It takes nine months to have nine to 10 months to have a baby. So it's not, 
So, you know, so it's not like, um, yeah, so it's not like it's a, it, this stuff happens overnight. But I do get this feeling that maybe, you know, this is kind of like well, everything doesn't last very long. Oh, it has to shift. You have to shift your focus. It's shifting your focus to recognizing that things may take some time to build. And just taking that time to do the work necessary to build that. Now, in your outcome, you have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles can talk about work, you know, obviously digging, you know, not digging your heels in, but really focusing on the task at hand and really being, and really concentrating on building something of great value. And I feel like once you're concentrated on it, you're not working at looking at the what ifs, what has been. So you're, you're really shifting your focus to what I can do now and, you know, how can I, you know, f what do I need to learn about this situation? It's very proactive, the Eight of Pentacles. And I feel like that's the thing. You you know, when you, you shift, I feel like you guys are shifting your focus, are changing, and you guys end up going to this energy here where you guys are more and prone, you know, you're more focused on the, you know, the, you know, getting to know the person, building something of great value building a set you know a real uh, foundation for the both of you guys to really branch off a relationship from and i feel like it all comes from the shifting of the focus what are you focusing on the most right and if this isn't about how relationships start this could just be how you know you know the the relationships in general you know or being in with just being with someone in general you may have to try to just curve a certain a certain uh, behavior or way of thinking. Because maybe that's like, you know, and then that opens the door for more things. But you kind of have to be aware of how you feel too to help you figure out why you do the certain things that you do. I was actually thinking I was talking about to Gem, uh, Gemini about this. You know, we do things with the devil to fill a void. So whatever it is that you're trying to fill right now, you know, you have to find it within yourself. You have to fill that void within yourself, not look for external means. And once you do that, I think what you're looking for will come. Embrace the dark. Yup. So embrace the dark talks about knowing your dark side. All right. I think Scorpio got this too, but knowing your darkness. All right. Knowing your darkness. That's okay. If you have regrets to you guys, that could be that too. Are you regretting something? Are you looking at stuff and you're like, you can't get over it? It's okay. All right. Don't regret nothing. You, 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 there was something you got out of it in that moment. There's something that you needed from that, from in that moment. It's all good. The judging yourself part, that's where you fuck yourself up because you don't, because you know, you don't need all that extra BS. You're a human being. You're allowed to experience whatever you want to experience, however you want to experience it. It doesn't matter how. So if you had to do a certain thing that you may not exactly be proud of now, then, you know, why aren't you, why, why do you need to be proud of it? Why can't you just accept that you are a human being in that moment and you needed something in that too? You needed something from that. That you were doing exactly what you need to do at that time to get you to where you need to be now, you know? But embrace your darkness is 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 pretty much saying don't 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 shun it don't shun yourself for the things that you've done don't shun a certain past from someone else's you know embrace your darkness more so than anything because if you don't embrace it how are you able to see the light you know the light comes out and you know the the light is is mostly appreciated from darkness. There's a part of us that are that, have, that we all have a dark side. I do too. We all have a dark side, and it's like all that glitters is like seeing, like looking past the BS. But embrace the dark, man. I could talk forever about embrace the dark, but but what I'm gonna say about this is to kind of make this video kind of snip, you know, not so, drag on so long like everybody else's, is that there's a piece of you that deserves to be recognized. That all of you deserves to be recognized. And to, to be able to move forward, you have to acknowledge the things that you do that you may not necessarily find to be acceptable in public, that people may not accept, period, or maybe even you don't accept. 
But the fact that you accept those things will help you to overcome certain stuff. Like I was saying before, you have to know what void you're filling with that devil. So you can fill it yourself. You have to embrace that darkness to do that. And all that glitters is practically saying the same thing, but it's saying, don't fall for the BS, pretty much. Then the outside, somebody may look nice and cute and sweet, but there's something more you need to get a little bit more, you know, information about. Everybody has a dark side. So maybe when you're, maybe this person comes in to help you see your dark side by you seeing theirs. But it's about seeing, it's not about the darkness that you, you know, make sure your focus isn't all solely on the darkness. Make sure you're seeing all aspects of life, all aspects of who this person is. Because everyone isn't just made of their darkness. Their darkness is influenced by something else that they can't get, or that they feel they can't get, right? Because everybody can actually, you're meant to be self-sustaining of everything, but we're not there yet. We're not, you know, we're still in Pisces season, you know, the Pisces Pisces era. We haven't reached Aquarian era where everybody can be self-sustained. But, you know, all that glitters is saying, don't just focus so much on the outside. Don't so focus so much on the details. We're Jupiter and Sagittarius now. Everything is about looking at things from the bigger picture. And the more you see some, some things from this bigger picture and not focus so much on the little, small, little piddly stuff that don't, ma don't matter, you're going to be able to make a formulate a better opinion on what is truly of value to you because you are able to understand all areas and all aspects of, of, of something of, or of the person, especially yourself. So don't just look at the details, family. And I know it's, it's something that you're specializing in and it's something that you specialize in. It's hard to see something from the bigger picture. But if you tried and truly tried to see things from all areas and see why things click and see why things happen and see things from, you know, step, stepping back instead of sitting up close, you'll be able to to really work. To You, you may find a partner. You may find someone that works just as perfect. 